Cora, and I'm 10 years old. If you could travel back to Bible times, what story would you travel back into, and why do you think that story is cool? Mm, probably when Jesus was born, because I want to see like the stable where he was born, and like all the animals, and like what his mom and his dad were like. Yeah, yeah, to see what they were. Yeah. You don't like animals much, do you? No, I love animals. You do. You love them so much. Do you think that there's a special gift God has given you um, to, in order to help show his love to people? Mm, I think to, because I've always wanted to be a veterinarian, I mm -hmm. think to like help other animals. How do you think that you could use that compassionate heart, because that's what it is that you have for animals, to um, help other people and help, help them be able to see God's love? Um, like if their animal was sick or stuff, me helping their animals would like let them have like less stress and like yeah. know that somebody's taking care of their animal. Yeah, yeah, and it shows them that you really care, right? <laughs> Do you think that there is one specific purpose that God, um, that, that's the same for everybody? To love God and love other people. You do such a great job of that. Thanks. And you are so great at at being a role model for the younger kids. And I just appreciate you so much in doing that. Do you believe that you're able to change the world around you? Mm, probably with help. With help? With whose help? God's. Yeah. With it. And who do, who do we talk about is actually your helper there all the time? The Holy Spirit. How do you think your purpose may change as you get older? If, like, God tells me, or, like, in a dream, or, like, if I have a vision or something, and God tells me that, um, like, he thinks I should do something else, or, like, I should do something with being a vet, then, like, maybe it could change. Like, um, he could ask me to do something with it or do something instead of it. Yeah. How can we do our part to to make sure that we see the vision or hear or voice or be able to recognize God's voice. To pray to him and then like listen for his voice. You know, Cora, you're gonna be, you're gonna do amazing things because you know those things at such a young age, at 10 years old, that you know that that's the thing to keep doing is to keep listening for God's voice and that's amazing. I think we're good. See, it wasn't so bad, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. Thanks.